This is like take four on this. I've been screwing, <laughs> screwing up these videos. I get it right this time. Right, James is my breeder supply. Uh, love my pups. So here we have our whelping kit. And I want to talk about how you set the thermostat. So you're going to get this. It's going to come with a heat tape that unfolds and goes and sticks to the bottom of the floor of your whelping box. Other videos show you how to do that. But I want to go over this. So it plugs in with 110 volts. There's an on off switch, of course. So when you turn it on, it'll show the current temperature. This has just been on for a little bit. It's showing a temperature of 35 degrees centigrade. We want to set this for 40 degrees centigrade. That's about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Sounds hot, but it's not. Puppies need to be about 101, 102 degrees. You've got to have the tape hotter than the puppy for heat to come from the floor to the puppy. So this is the perfect temperature, it's 40 degrees. How do we know it's set for 40 degrees? Press this button just quickly one time. Shows the current target temperature. If it doesn't show that, you don't have it set right. In fact, if it shows 28, it means that the thermostat has inversely been reset and you've got to reset it. So how do you, how do you change the temperature? So you press this button one time, use the up and down buttons. And there we go, get it to 40, leave it alone. Okay, and guess what? It's at 40 degrees. So this little red light went off. The red light is on when the temperature is less than 40 degrees and the red light will be off when it's above 40 degrees. With the red lights on, the juice is being sent to the heat tape. So that's what's going on there. So here in a little bit, this will drop down. It's actually got to drop one degree below 40. When it drops there, this little light will come on. So it won't go right at 40. It's got to get down a little bit lower than that. All right. So you can inadvertently reset this thing. Specifically, if you start mucking around with these buttons um, before pressing this, you can reset it. I'm going to hit this button one time, hold it. And I have now inadvertently reset this. To find out, you can press the button one time. If it reads 28, you've reset it. You've got a problem. So you've got to set the thing up again. So how do you do that? So the answer is you press this button, you hold it till it says P0. Then you hit it one more time. It's got to say H. Use one of the buttons till it says H. Now you can just leave it alone and it's back in the right mode. What was the C standing for? C stands for cool, H stands for heat. It's got to be okay. in the heating mode. So now the temperature's set wrong as well because I reset it. If I press this button one time, it'll say 28. Don't like that. You've got to get back up to 40. And there we go. And there it is. It's all set up properly. Leave everything alone. It's right. So the, the problem gets to be is if you press these buttons first, you can inadvertently reset the thing. And the only way to fix that is to go back in, press this button one time till it says P0, press it one more time and it needs to say H. If it says C, you've got to press these buttons over here till it says H. Leave it alone. Once you leave it alone, it'll go back to normal mode. Press this button one more time and make sure it reads 40. And if it doesn't, adjust the temperature with the up and down buttons until it reads 40 and then leave it alone. And then one more time, if, you, if, if you've inadvertently pressed these buttons before this, you can reset the thing by mistake. And I just succeeded in resetting it. And to find out if I've done that, I press the button one time. If it reads 28, you've reset it. To go back up to 40, target temperature. Go there. Then you've got to press this button again one more time. Hold it until it says P0. So here, wait, hold it until it says P0. Press it one more time. Go to read H, leave it alone. So it's pretty easy to set, but it is easy to unset it by universally hitting these buttons before this one. You always hit this button first before you hit these. As long as you do that, and, it, and, and if you go there and you look at your, your system and the light's on and it's something around 40 degrees, you're good. See, here we go, the lights come on. It says, hey, it's time to heat me up. And when it gets to 40, it'll turn off. That's it. Got any questions about this? Go to our website, drop us a message if you need some help. These instructions are on the website. Thanks for looking. Bye.